just a quick note before we get started. Uh, the Woad has 100% perfect compatibility with every single game that's out there from your region. Um, when you install like a little software modification, it kind of complicates things a little bit. All right? The advantages of installing the soft mod is that if you're on 4.2 firmware, you'll be able to play uh, every single game if you launch it from the soft mod interface uh, from any region, full stop, all right? which is great. However, this advantage is uh, if you upgrade your Wii in the future, uh, you will most likely, uh, it'll most likely remove that homebrew channel interface. You have to be really careful uh, you know, if you're ever, ever connect your Wii online and ask you to do an update, just be careful because um, it, it will definitely remove the homebrew channel and, and who knows what else it'll do. Uh, it can't kind of predict the future. Um, the Woad was never kind of meant to do this, it's always meant to be a pure hardware modification, so please don't uh, kind of talk to your distributors about it because um, they don't kind of have, uh, you know, they don't really need to support it. So jump on the Woad forums, wojubox.org, if you have any issues. Click on Word Homebrew Forum and uh, just post your thread or, or ask in, in one of these installation guide threads and, and the community will kind of help you out. Um, but yeah, another disadvantage of, of Word Flow is that if you want to, if you in, uh, insert a game and it needs to install an update, if you launch it from the software modification interface, it's not going to allow you to install the update, it's going to block that update from running. So if you don't want to overcomplicate things, just stick to the normal uh, channel here on this uh, on this little screen here, um, but if you want um, if you want a nice interface, then just make sure you do some reading first. And all right, so you've got your Woad, and uh, you've happily loaded all your games onto your hard drive. Uh, the only thing people can really kind of complain about is uh, this little screen here. Uh, they've got 50 games or so on their uh, on their hard drive, uh, but they want to get a soft mod interface like this up and running they can uh, easily choose the game they want and uh, just play it directly from their hard drive but you know it's good to have that kind of interface with kids so today I'm going to show you how to easily get this interface on with a easy to follow video alright so uh, some prerequisites for this video you need an SD card uh, even, even if you have a 16 meg one they'll do nothing uh, big required uh, Second is you need to check the about on your Woad and it needs to be on, on this version or higher. So update to the latest firmware 2.1 uh, from the Woad website. Uh, second, the third one is you need uh, go into the Wii settings which is uh, right here. Your firmware version must be 4.2e the only uh, version I'm making instructions for. Uh, if you're watching from the future and you've got 4.3 or, or 5.0, it probably won't work. Alright, so what we need to do is you grab your SD card, stick it in your computer. Whoa! Alright, so I'm going to have this little zip available to download uh, next to the YouTube video or wherever you're uh, downloading uh, watching this video from. So what you want to do is you want to grab these three folders, so two folders and one, uh, one file, drag it onto your SD card. So your SD card should have a, a, a folder called apps, a folder called private and a file called boot.alf. So I'm going to take this SD card out and insert that into the Wii. And when you're on 4.2 firmware, you'll notice that uh, this little SD card icon is now blue. Click on it. It's going to come up with a thing saying, do you want to load? Your page you're scammed, yes. All, this, uh, all these notices about if your page you're scammed are just to do with uh, people pretty much selling these packages for profit when they're free. Just a note about updating to 4.2 firmware. Um, you can do it from the Endless Ocean disk uh, if you have it. Do it from the you know update from the same region your console's on, or you can actually update um, online. But make sure if you have a Korean Wii that you and, and you use the region changer for it. Don't update because you'll break your Wii. All right, so press A to continue. 
It's going to give me three options, install homebrew channel, DVD-X and boot me. I want to install the first two. So install homebrew channel, yes. Install DVD-X, yes. And then exit. What the homebrew channel does is it just loads applications directly from the menu. So if I kind of go back and take this out, it gets rid of that little application there. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the Wii and I'll just show you one little setting that will help. Woadflow needs you to have uh, an ISO mounted. So I'm going to go into settings, load settings, and see how it says auto load. I'm going to change that to auto load CFG. It's going to take my hard drive. All right. And then I just go back and click save. Alright, so now if I turn my hard drive, turn my Wii off and on again, as you'll see, it'll load directly into the Word config ISO. And that way, the Word flow is kind of ready to go when you, uh, when you click on it. Uh, if you want to use the normal Word menu, just click the eject button. Uh, otherwise, as you'll see here, I now have the homebrew channel loaded. Right, so I click that, click start. And there's only one option there, so I click Word menu, load. Now this software will now interface with your hard drive. Takes a couple of seconds and you get this nice view of all of your files. Now obviously uh, the cover art doesn't download automatically so what you do is you click uh, settings, download covers and titles, downloads and just click, the first thing you do is just click all and all and then once you get some new games you just click uh, missing and it'll, it'll download the missing cover art uh, for the games. Uh, if you want to play a game you just uh, find the game you want click A and uh, and that's it and you can control this by your Wii Remote by clicking this button here or just left to right click A and A again and it'll unmount that ISO that we had uh, had mounted so obviously it takes a little bit longer to launch the game but uh, if you've got kids or, or want a nice shiny interface to your uh, to all your games then you know. one thing before I go if you put your SD card back in you can delete boot.elf, right, you can delete private and installer.log as well, you don't need that, so it'll create a folder called Woadflow, okay, you can keep that, and apps is uh, is where the Woad menu is. If they bring out a new version of Woad menu and you want to upgrade to it, you go into apps, Woad menu, and there's a file called boot.doll, basically you download the new doll file, delete this one, and rename the file to boot.doll, okay? If it's named something like uh, woeflow.doll, it's not gonna work, it has to be boot.doll.